Hello. 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 Hi, how are you? Um, yo sé que puede ser como un poco confuso verme aquí porque no soy la teacher que están acostumbrados, right? Pero ella tuvo unos inconvenientes yes. personales el día de hoy, así que yo voy a estar a cargo de la clase, ¿ok? Muy bien. Gotcha. Ok. Very good. So, my name is Diana Sayas, and I will be covering Jessica today. So, I suppose that you're familiar with the with today's topic, that is the modal verbs, right? Yes. That's what we are supposed to be studying, right? Yes, we are. Okay, very good. So, I see there are a few connected already, están varios conectados por el momento. So, I don't know how many you are. Alguno tiene una idea de how, how many students I'm, uh, I'm expecting today. Usually, well, we like 18 or 19, yeah. 18 or 19? Okay, okay. I, I guess so, I, I guess so. Okay, I think right now we're like five, uh, uh, nine, yes pretty much the big majority. So, okay, I'm gonna start. Um, just, I want to ask you if you have watched the video, han visto el video que está en la platform sobre los model verbs para hoy? Yes, si lo han hecho, no simplemente tienen que activar el, el microphone, you have to do like a raising hand or the thumbs up sign. Para dejarme saber si ya lo han visto. If not, we're going to be studying that today, right? So, para los que se van conectando, the ones who are enrolling right now, eh, I'm going to be your teacher because Jessica couldn't be here today. No pudo estar acá el día de hoy. So, we're going to be talking about modal verbs, que hablan un poco sobre obligación. Pero yo voy a hablarles un poco más como in general about other things that modal verbs do. So we're going to be talking about the past and phrasal models of obligation. Como should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to. All of the, all, the, uh, all these modal verbs describe uh, possibilities that are located in the past. Todo esto describe posibilidades que están in the past, right? So, things that could have happened, but didn't. Cosas que pudieron haber pasado, pero no pasaron. So, we're going to be talking about that today. So, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see what this is about. Wait a minute. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is the topic for today. For everybody here, this is my name, Diana Sayas. So, the topic is past models and phrasal models of obligation. Pero como le dije, vamos a mencionar un poco otros también. So, this is the next slide. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Quiero que los hagamos con ustedes porque you have them on the video that is in the platform. Like I was asking you, I don't know how many have seen the video, but there is explaining a little bit of it. Pero I will play the video for the most of you. Porque pregunté y me dijeron que so so. Some of you said that you didn't uh, watch it, so we're gonna watch it right now. But first, we're gonna be okay. First, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit of this. Primero le voy a explicar un poco de esto. So tenemos these model verbs that we have here are should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to. Okay, so if you get the idea that what it means, son como obligations that we had to accomplish in the past, but we didn't, okay? So, for example, with the first example that we have right there, that it says, should have, there we have, um, I'm sorry, there we have an explanation that, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write the first example. It says, of course, we always need um, the subject, 
I should have, this is the model verb in here. Okay, I'm missing the D. This is the model verb, okay? So, I should have, then we have the verb. In this case, we're gonna have the verb in the past participle, okay? Because we're referring to something that had, okay? Like past perfect. So, I should have, present perfect, I mean, stayed home. I should have stayed home and study. Okay. I should have stayed home and study. This is something that we should have done. Esto es algo que nosotros deberíamos haber hecho, but we didn't do it. Por eso lo expresamos en este tiempo. That's what I need you to understand. Eso es lo que necesito que entiendan. Okay. Cuando utilizamos estructuras con los past models, como should have, nos referimos a una cosa que está en el pasado que no se logró. We didn't accomplish that. We didn't do that. So, if I ask you, si yo les pregunto, atención a esto porque después le voy a preguntar, then I'm going to ask you to tell me the meanings of the other sentences. So, the first one, el significado de esta sería, I should have stayed home and study. It was a good idea to do it, but I didn't. So, what it means is that I needed to study and I didn't do it. Este es como el significado de eso. Podríamos decirlo en otras palabras. I didn't study and I needed yo necesito hacerlo this is the meaning vamos con el siguiente ejemplo que está ahí que dice I was supposed to supposed to aquí sería was supposed to this is the model oh wait todos están mal ok I was supposed to be, este verbo que está aquí siguiente, the next verb is following, el siguiente verbo que está siguiendo la oración está with be, si se fijan es en su forma base, because the to gives us the infinitive, porque el to nos da el infinitivo para el siguiente verbo, right? So I guess most of you know that, supongo que varios lo saben. So I was supposed to be starting, so this is a as continuous, I was supposed to be studying this weekend, okay, so that we have another sentence. I was supposed to be studying this weekend. That is the sentence. ¿Qué interpretan or what do you infer from that sentence? What's your opinion? ¿Cuál es su opinión? So I'm going to ask, I'm going to go ahead and ask one of you to tell me what you think this sentence means, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead with, let's see, the first nine. Okay, Amilcar, Posadas, right? Yes, yes. Okay, what do you think it means? Uh, maybe uh, it's supposed to Study, studied this weekend, but I didn't. I so, didn't study mm -hmm. for this weekend. Okay. Or in the past, right? Yes, you didn't study in the weekend, and you were asked to. Usted tenía que hacerlo, verdad? Se lo habían pedido. Okay, that's that's a good um, answer. So I'm going to head and ask another one. Voy a preguntarle a alguien más. What do you think it means? Pero pensémoslo desde la obligación, ¿ok? So, ¿cuál era la obligación que yo tenía? What was my obligation? So, let's go and see. I think, ok, I think we have here Daisy Aguirre. Hi, Hi. Daisy. So, what do you think it means, this sentence? I... 
the same. I the same? The study. Yeah. Okay, that you didn't study. Yes. Yeah. What was your obligation? What was your obligation? Sorry, this is a Greek end. Okay, thank you very much, Daisy. So, in las palabras de los compañeros, but in other ways, your obligation was to study, okay? Esa era su obligación. But you didn't do it. Okay. Mi obligación era estudiar. Tu obligación era estudiar. You didn't do it, pero no lo hiciste. Okay. So, vamos a pasar para los que se van conectando. Eh, yo voy a estar en la clase con ustedes el día de hoy porque Jessica eh, no pudo estar. Así que continúo. My name is Diana Sayas, por cierto. So, vamos con el siguiente ejemplo. Algo que se suponía que yo tenía que hacer era I was supposed to. Lo que yo se suponía que tenía que hacer. Now we're going to go with I had to. Yo tenía que. So, I had to. I had to wear. Y como se fijan, right? We have the to. So, this is infinitive. This is very important that you know it because when you're doing these sentences, como estamos hablando in a past tense, we will think that all the all the verbs have to be in the past, but no, okay? No todos los verbos van a estar en pasado porque we have the infinitive, okay? So I had to wear an uniform, okay? Yo tenía que utilizar un uniforme. These things, aquí dice, I should have stayed home and studied. Esto es algo que yo tendría que haber hecho. But I didn't do it. I didn't. Okay? Eso es importante que sepan. No lo hice. The next one dice, I was supposed to, but I didn't do it again. Yo tenía y era, se suponía que tenía que, but I didn't do it. With this one, is different. Con este que tenemos aquí, if you can see it, it's different. No dice que yo tenía que hacerlo, but I didn't. Okay? Doesn't mean that. It says, I had to wear a uniform. For example, puede ser que en su escuela, in your school, in your private school, you were asked to wear uniform every day. Nos pedían utilizar el uniforme, ¿verdad? Todos los días. So, in this case, it doesn't say you didn't do it. Por eso les estoy dando la pista para que me den el significado desde su perspectiva. Vamos a empezar aquí con um, Jonathan M. Yeah, uh, well, this is something that implies obligation in the past about having to wear a uniform during some activity. It doesn't imply which activity. Okay, yes. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. That was good. So let's see. We're going to go ahead with Miguel Angel. Okay. Um, this one simply means that you sometime during the past wear a uniform to perform some activity or to enter somewhere. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Miguel Angel. That was very good. So, si se fijan los compañeros, your classmates have said something very interesting. That you were asked to wear a uniform for some activities or let's say for the school, right? Or for your works. But it doesn't say you didn't do it. No dice que no lo hicimos. Entonces, um, vamos a poner aquí un significado que es el que está en la platform. Dice, we were forced to do this we were forced to do this nos forzaban or we had the obligation como en este caso que son los models of obligation we had the obligation to do so teníamos la obligación de realizar esto okay doesn't mean that we didn't do it in este caso we did it nosotros hicimos eso like i don't know if in your schools les pedían que llevaran el uniforme, a mí me lo pedían, and we were asked to, and we were forced to, 
nos obligaban y nos forzaban. Aunque okay, preferí el día de particular. I don't know about you. So, let's go with the other one. Que says, I. Aquí vamos con un pasado. Auxiliar. I didn't have to. Entonces, si se fijan, en este es como the opposite. Ok. It's the opposite with this one. Es lo opuesto a la que está arriba. This one was, I had to. Yo tenía que, I had to. But in the next sentence, we have the opposite. I didn't have to. Something that I didn't have to do. Okay. So it says, I didn't have. Y esta es el que está en la plataforma. I didn't have to go with my friends. But I did. Algo que yo no tenía que hacer, something I didn't have to do, but I did. So, according to the sentence, what does this tell you? ¿Qué le dice esta oración? Estamos hablando de obligation. Y esa es la palabra en the, the one that I want you thinking of. En la que le quiero que piensen. Porque aquí el significado va a ser different. So, we're going to go with... Let's see. Fátima Ramírez. Hello, okay. Fátima. Hi. Okay, what do you think it means? I think that it's action that you don't have the, the obligation to do it. Okay, you didn't have to, the obligation to do it? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Ok, vamos a ir con otro. Muy bien, I liked it. Me gustó mucho lo que explicó Fátima. Vamos a ir con, let's see, Eric Mendoza. Well, I think that you have like a choice to go or not to go. So maybe it's like, um, they ask me to go with my friends, but if I don't go, it's okay, but I did it. Ok, yes, very good. I like both answers. Me gustaron mucho las dos respuestas. Because this doesn't mean that it's an obligation, right? It doesn't say so. It says that I had, como dijo Eric, I think, I had the option and I could have chosen to go or not to go. So with, in this case, I chose to. So it says, it wasn't an obligation okay this wasn't an obligation i did it okay so let's go with the last one vamos a ir con el último ejemplo está en la plataforma también so it says i thought i needed to with the infinitive ahora have more or, 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 to have more clothes, okay? I thought I needed to have more clothes, okay? So maybe before the quarantine, right? Tal vez antes de la cuarentena, you thought you needed clothes. You thought that you needed pretty dresses. You thought that you needed some beautiful, beautiful shoes. But now you're in quarantine and you don't need them, right? You only need your shorts, and your, I don't know how to say, like homeless shirts. Las andamos vestidos de por cero, right? In the house. But you thought you needed clothes. Nosotros pensábamos que íbamos a necesitar clothes for this year. <laughs> para este año, but we don't. So, in this case, the meaning can, could be different as well. Puede ser un poco distinto. So, es about a thought. Es sobre un pensamiento. It's not necessarily talking about an obligation. So, I want to hear your meanings. What do you think it means? Let's go with Idalia. Hi. Hi, Idalia. Um, I, I think that is when maybe, oh my God, it's, it's when, you didn't do 
something, but then you talk that that was not necessary. No, that was necessary. Sorry. Okay. Thank you very much, Idalia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Very good answer. Muy buena respuesta. So I will need another answer right now. And I am seeing Edwin VF. Yes. Yes. Um, what do you think it means? Um, the clause uh, become a supposition. Mm, how so? Como así? Uh, I don't know. I think that uh, I need I need uh, more clause in. Mm. No, I don't know. It's okay. a supposition. Okay, let's think about this. Pensemos en esto, Edwin. It was something I thought. Okay, ¿qué era lo que yo pensé? Solo dígame eso. ¿Qué era lo que yo pensé? Uh, I need more clothes. Okay, thank you very much, Edwin. Podríamos ponerlo de esta manera. Miren todos aquí. So, como estamos hablando de un thought, de un pensamiento, ¿qué era lo que yo pensaba? Basically, that's what I need to express, ¿ok? So, I, como está acá de nuevo, I thought, porque es un pensamiento, it was, en otras palabras sería esto, I thought it was ne se, ¿cómo sería? Sorry. I thought it was necessary. In mi pensamiento, this was necessary, but it was Okay, so in other words, these are the meanings. En otras palabras, estos son los significados, right? So, algo que necesitamos hacer, something we needed to do, something we should have done it better, but we didn't. Y si se fijan, these, como llevan un to, the verbs are in infinitive, y luego tenemos el e, d, en este caso, porque estamos hablando de un have, como un present perfect. Okay. Now, I will play a video for you. Voy a ponerles un video. So now you will see Jessica, actually. So Jessica va a estar un, par, un poco en la clase. She will explain to you about this a little bit deeper. Un poco más les va a explicar en el video. Then we come back so I can explain more of this with examples. So let's, wait, I'm going to stop the sharing because I need to set the video. If you have pro if you have problems listening to the video, let me know or watching the video, let me know. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Right there. Hi, we're about to study past models and phrase the models of obligation. Stay and watch the explanation. Past models and phrasal models of obligation. Should have, was supposed to, had to, and needed to all describe obligations in the past, although they sometimes have different uses. I should have stayed home and studied. It was a good idea, but I didn't do it. I was supposed to be studying this weekend. It was required, but I didn't do it. I had to wear a uniform. We were forced to do this. I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. There was no obligation. I thought I needed to have more clothes. I thought this was necessary. Past models and phrasal models. Should have is followed by a past participle. Whereas was, were, supposed to, had to, didn't have to, I needed to, are followed by the simple form of the verb. Had to describe strong obligation in the past and suggest there was no choice. I had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to, suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. 
He was supposed to graduate last. Okay, I'm going to play this again. Voy a ponerles esto de nuevo because I need, creo, quiero que pongan mucha atención en esta parte. Porque aquí, there it's explaining to you the meanings. Los meanings y los casos de obligation. Okay, how the obligation was in these cases. Como la obligación estaba en estos casos. So pay attention, please. Had to describe strong obligation in the past and suggest there was no choice. I had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. He was supposed to graduate last year. Should have suggests that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggests that the action was not advisable, but was done. He should have learned English before. Needed, did they need to, suggests that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not. She needed to exercise. Didn't have to means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Then, compare your answers in class with a partner. Sentences with your own information. Okay, now we're gonna do what it says in here. Vamos a ver lo que dice acá. So dice, I wasted a lot of money once because I thought I needed to. Okay, vamos a hacer esto ahorita. Quiero que everybody, so everybody grab a pencil, a pen, and write it down. Quiero que lo escriban todos. Un ejemplo. Voy a elegir al azar quien me va a dar el ejemplo. So, what I need you to do is to complete these two sentences okay estas dos oraciones you have to complete them with any information you want to okay cualquier otra información que ustedes quieran so let's think about the first one they say i wasted a lot of money once because i thought i needed to porque yo pensaba que necesitaba que i needed to buy this because i needed to get more clothes because I need it. This is your option, okay? It's up to you, it's your option. So the next one, it says, when I had the opportunity, I should have, cuando tuve la oportunidad, I should have what? ¿Qué tendría que? What, what should I, I done, okay? So this is what I need you to complete. For example, in my case, this is just my example, it would be like, when I had the opportunity, I should, I should have learned French, for example. When I had the opportunity, I should have learned French, okay? So I'm going to give you some minutes for you to complete this, and then you're going to tell me your examples. Voy a elegir al azar quien me va a dar sus examples, okay? Wait. Did everybody copy the first part of the sentences? Or do you need me to to share it? Okay, okay. So yes, this. That would be good. Thank you for saying it. Very good. Ahí está, para que lo copien. So you can write it down.
Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. And okay, so I'm gonna ask you to give me some examples. So I'm gonna give you in 30 seconds, in como 30 segundos to finish. Okay. If you have questions, you can raise your hand and ask me as well. Okay, so let's start. Vamos a empezar aquí. Someone we didn't ask, Lydia Peraza. Hello, Lydia. Okay. I was saved a lot of money once because I thought I needed to pay the service. Okay, very good. And the next one? Uh, when I had the opportunity, I should train more. I should have. I should have trained more. Yes, thank you very much, Lydia. So now we're going to go with um, Veronica Martinez. Hi. Hi, Veronica. I wait a lot of money once because I thought I needed to buy a lot of shoes. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Creo que we have all been there. Todos hemos estado ahí, Veronica. Yes, thank you. El siguiente. Every color. Well, every color, yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Expensive when shoes. I, I know. When I, have to, when I have the opportunity, I should have to go to the gym. I should have, ahí tiene que ser el verbo en pasado, Verónica. I, I should have... When went to the gym. I should have gone. Gone. Okay, yes, gone porque es en el past participle. Thank you, Verónica. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. So, I'm going to go ahead with... Okay, very good. Um, Efraín Cruz. Yes. Okay, let me read you the first one. Okay. I wasted a lot of money once because I thought I needed to become a famous person. Okay. Second one, when I had the opportunity to, pardon me, when I had the opportunity, I should have traveled to Europe. Okay, when I had the opportunity, I should have traveled to Europe. Yes, very good, Efrain. Okay, if I had the opportunity, I would have traveled to Europe as well. Yo también hubiera ido a Europa si hubiera tenido oportunidad. Pero no este año, ¿verdad? Not this year. Very good. So let's go ahead with Roxana Navas. Hello. Hello, Roxana. Okay, number one, I wasted a lot of money. Once because I threw, I need to buy a new computer. Okay, and the other one? Number two, when I had the opportunity, I should have to continue my study. Okay, very good. That's a good answer. So now we go with, let's see, Armando Enriquez. Enrique or Enriquez? Hello, Armando. Hi, teacher. Hi. I wasted my. I wasted a lot of money once because I thought I needed to be happy. Okay. When I have the opportunity, finish my homework. Okay. Very good, Armando. Very good examples. Muy buenos examples. Y vamos a ir con uno último. So I'm gonna ask. Vamos a ver. Creo que ya escuché la voz de aquí. Aquí ya escuché. Vamos a ver, Eli, Eli Álvarez. Hola. Can I change the context? What do you say, Eli? Uh, uh, can, so I can, can I change the words? Like I was there, a lot of my... Quiere decirlo con other words? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. So, I was, I was... A lot of my shit once because I thought I needed to. When I had the opportunity, when I had the opportunity, I should have saved some page. I should have saved the last word? Some page. 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 Shit. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Very good. Thank you, Eli. Okay, so the other ones, si pueden los demás, por favor, hacerme el favor de hacer lo que hizo Miguel Ángel. You can write your sentences on the on the chat and then I can see the the answers, okay? Los demás pueden escribir. If you can type them so I can see your answers, okay? Very good. The other ones, very good answers. I like the one that says, me gustó la que dijo, I don't know, I don't remember who said it. No recuerdo quién la dijo. Armando, it was Armando, that said, I wasted a lot of money once because I thought I needed to be happy. Porque yo pensé que necesitaba ser feliz. That was very interesting. So, como, como super interesting y bien trascendental esa respuesta. Thank you for that. So, we're going to head, going to go ahead and continue. Vamos a ir un poco para continuar acá. So, let me... Share my screen. Wait a minute. Okay. There we go. Okay, now you see my screen. So these were the examples that you had in the video. If you remember, estos fueron los ejemplos que teníamos en el video. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you a little bit more. Voy a hablarles un poquito más. Um, Wait a minute, esperen un momento. Recuerden siempre, remember that you always have to have the mute. Tienen que tener ahí en mute el audio para que podamos escucharnos mejor. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce you to the model verbs. You're gonna be, um, I don't know, like studying this with Jessica a little bit more like deeper, but I'm gonna present to you some of the most used model verbs and what the meanings are, right? So each model verb has a meaning that it, that it is what the sentence wants to say, lo que la oración quiere decir. So thank you everybody. Um, I'm seeing a lot of answers. Estoy viendo sus respuestas. Very good. Okay, so vamos a ver esto aquí. ¿Qué dice? Models in past. Vamos a hablar un poquito sobre los models in past. Esto es como una introduction, so you can do it later. Como pueden hacerlo después. So dice, models in past. Model, have y participle. Estos son con los que utilizamos con el participio. No son como los que teníamos atrás como I had to, que podemos decir simplemente con with, the infinitive form of the verb. So, will have is the first model that we have there. What is the concept? What is the meaning? It says past on real action, an action that was not real, okay? So when we have an example. The example says, if I had guessed the future, here we have it, I would have taken some precautions against what would happen. <laughs> I think this example is very funny because it applies to our situation right now with the coronavirus, right? That if I had guessed the future, I would have taken some precautions, okay? Si yo hubiera sabido el futuro, hubiera tomado the precautions that were needed. Very good. It's funny. Okay, so let's go with the next model. Se fijan, el primer concepto dice pass on real action. The next one. We have cool half, cool half. And now I'm gonna need someone to read it. Voy a necesitar que alguien lo lea. So I'm gonna ask Jonathan M. So if you can read the model, the concept, and the example, please. Uh, model would have uh, concept pass on real action. An example. No, 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 no. Um, Jonathan, it's the second one. Model, model could have concept pass on real ability. Example, he could have taken the flight. Very good, Jonathan. Now I'm gonna go ahead with Eric Mendoza with the next ones, please. Model may have concept pass on real possibilities. Example, we may have passed the math exam, passing in Spanish. 
Okay, very good, Eric. So now we're gonna go ahead with um, Armando. Yes, teacher. Can you read this? Have... Okay, yes. Might, 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 have... might, might, because... Might have mm -hmm. some real small probability. You might have sold the card if you really needed the money. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Now we are going with Fatima. Okay, Mora should have concept, passion, real recommendation, recommendation. Example, you should have listened to the teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Ese siempre es un buen consejo. You should have listened to the teacher. Very good. So, in the last one, let me see. Okay, Idalia, can you read the last one, please? Sure. Uh, Model must have, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Model must have concept, pattern, real, uh, how do you say that word? Assumption. Assumption. As a real assumption. And so, example, we must have been crazy. We must have been crazy. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, if you can see it, si se pueden dar cuenta, some of these are divided in two sentences. Okay, because one says the possibility, if, okay, and the other one express what would have happened lo que hubiera pasado. One expressed the possibility and the other one expressed the thing that didn't happen, that would have happened. Okay, so now I want you to work. Vamos a trabajar en grupo. Vamos a hacer esto. We're going to work on this. So if you can take a screenshot, si pueden tomar un screenshot so you can see it. If you, because writing it, it will take too long, so don't do that. Just take a screenshot. If you can do that, take a photo. If you can do that, like Edwin is doing, very good. So with these, you are gonna match the sentences, okay? So for example, Jenny is in a past model verbs, yes. So this one here, it is not the past model verbs, pero aquí sí está el past model verbs. Es como que van a poner una cosa con lo que significa. So for example, Jane, is in a terrible mood today. What is the option that you have? He might have gotten erased. I don't think that's the option, so it's not. She must, she must not have gotten enough sleep. I don't think, well, maybe that, that can be it. Jane is in a terrible mood today. Maybe Jane didn't sleep. So that can be the answer. One with the letter B. She's not feeling good because she didn't sleep a lot last night. So with this, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can work together with this. But when you finish, okay, cuando terminen, quiero que me den one example, que discutan estos ejemplos con sus compañeros. I should have, I was supposed to, I had to, I didn't have to, and I, and I needed to. Quiero que piensen en estos ejemplos con one thing that you didn't do o uno que se aplique a ustedes. No me tienen que hacer, you don't have to do one sentence per each example. No tienen que hacer un ejemplo por cada moral. No, you don't have to. Quiero que me hablen de uno real for you. Okay, so it can be, puede ser, that I was supposed to uh, work a lot today, but I didn't. Podría ser mi ejemplo en mi caso real, if, if that was the case. So, for example, puedo decir acá este siguiente. I had to speak English uh, when I'm, I had to speak English when I was studying, okay? Yo tenía que hablar mucho inglés when I was studying. Another example. Solo quiero ejemplos que se apliquen a ustedes. If you think all of this you can apply to you, si pueden aplicarlos todos a ustedes, you can talk about it with your classmates. Pueden hablarlo con sus classmates. 
Okay, so we're gonna talk about this with our classmates. No necesito que los escriban. I don't need you to write it. I just need you to discuss it. So necesito que los platiquen con sus compañeros. Okay, so this morning I should have wake up. So this morning I should have woken up early, but I didn't. En esa mañana yo se suponía que me levantara temprano. Yo debía levantarme temprano, but I didn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you to the breakout rooms for me. Lo primero que tienen que hacer es this, and then you have to discuss this, okay? So let's go to the breakout rooms. Let's see how, okay. Yes, I have to stop the chair so you can go to the breakout rooms. Okay, yes, there we go. Go to the breakout rooms, please. The screenshot. You got it? I didn't screenshot. I'm looking for this. <coughs> Brian got a call and look, look it worried. Uh, letter F, he couldn't have hear good news. Oh. Like she must not have gotten a snow mm -hmm. sleep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. Uh, second, Brian got a call and looked worried. Uh, and you have done this report. What is the meaning of rice? You know? Ascender. Yeah. O sea, mm -hmm. lo suben de puesto. En el trabajo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just money. Puede verse a ser just money. Get more money. Maybe, okay. yeah. Letter A. Number three. Yeah. Okay, the four. Laura couldn't keep her eyes open. And this is. She must letter. not have gotten enough. Yeah. yeah. Letter B. Letter B. Um, or, or Laura, Laura couldn't keep her eyes open. Um, I think that is letter B too. Letter B again? Yeah, because the the other option are not so capable for that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the answer is repeating. The teacher looks, the teacher very, looks happy. very happy today. A race. It's it could only be a race. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one. Laura. The first one. Laura couldn't keep her eyes open. Not no sleep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know that because I I suffered that a lot. <laughs> <laughs>
the other one. Let's fight for his job. job. Oh, he may have not have done his reports on time. Yeah, I think so too. And, and the last one. For the last one, it could one be a uh, process of array. Letter A. Hey, um, ahorita estoy viendo, I'm looking the what what you were saying, the the answer that says that she didn't have enough sleep. Yeah. That could be for two answers, maybe not. Maybe the one that she fought with her husband is the answer for the first one, and the other one yeah. is for the one that you were asking, Fatima. I think that you were the one asking, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's the answer. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, number three. Hello, did you finish? ¿Te terminaron los que estamos acá? Did you finish already? Uh, kind of. Kind of, okay. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Yeah. Hey, how do you do that thing with the background? Um, <laughs> I I've tried just... and I, I, I'm, I'm not able to do it. It's something different and different image or something like that. Mm, I downloaded it from, the, from a site that says just backgrounds for zoom huh. okay if you do it with any other picture it might not work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes if that's what you were asking okay so hello guys i saw that you were all working most of you figure out the meanings pretty quick which is very good okay so that means that you got the meaning so in the next class you're gonna be with jessica and she's gonna be explaining to you a little bit more about model verbs, okay? So that will be it for today with me. And I hope you have understood what I said, okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, have a good night, much. everybody. Thank you. Good, good night. night. Okay. Good Thanks night. a lot. Bye. Good night, bye-bye. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.